What's going on everyone? It's Adrian from Drive Time and welcome to another Sleepers uh, Value Picks and Studs video. Uh, so in this video I'm going to go over my top sleepers, my top value picks for tonight and my top stud. Tonight is December 17th, 2019 and we have a nine game slate tonight so a lot of action going on. Um, but before I get into my picks, uh, I want to go over some injuries that you need to keep an eye on. You got Andre Drummond and um, Blake Griffin are both questionable for the Pistons. So keep an eye on that. If they do end up, in, in fact, not playing, um, then you got to take a look at Markeith Morris and Christian Wood. Um, and then for the uh, for the Timberwolves, you got Carl Anthony Towns right now is listed as questionable. So keep an eye on him. Uh, if he does, in fact, not play, then huge, huge, huge value to Gorgie Dang. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's get into my top uh, my top value pick. So I normally don't do this, but I'm going to combine my top value pick. I'm going to combine three different players. You got Ian Mahinmi, uh, Davis Bertans, and then Troy Brown for the for the Washington Wizards. All three of them, uh, I'm going to lump into one top value pick. You have a ton of injuries over there in Washington. You got uh, Mar Maurice Wagner is out. Thomas Bryant is out, and now Rui Huchimara is is also out. So huge value for all three of those guys. Mahimi is forty three hundred dollars on Fanduel. We project him to score twenty six point three three fantasy points on Fanduel. Uh, Bertans is fifty eight hundred on Fanduel, and we project him to score thirty four point five six. And then Troy Brown is forty six hundred dollars on Fanduel, and we project him to score twenty six point six. Uh, fantasy points now on DraftKings is a little bit different of a story um, DraftKings is getting really good at pricing their players So the only one on, of these guys on DraftKings that I really see uh, with any value is going to be Bertans uh, On DraftKings Bertans is $6,500 and we have him projected to score 36.37 fantasy points on DraftKings now my next top value pick for tonight is going to be Josh Richardson Okay, he's $4,700 on FanDuel, and we have him projected to score 26.47. And then he has $4,900 on DraftKings, where we're projecting him to score 27.44 fantasy points. Now, look, I know he's on a slump right now, but he's still getting in the mid-20s as far as minutes go. And that's despite him being on the slump. Uh, before that, he was averaging in the mid-30s as far as minutes go. Okay, but I think uh, the slump right now is a fluke. Uh, in the past four games, he's only gotten two total assists. And, and earlier in the year, he was averaging four assists assist a game uh he also can can score the ball a lot better than he's been doing and actually sprinkled into this slump he did have a 30.4 fantasy point game uh where he had two blocks and two steals and he's capable of doing that he's capable of getting you blocks and steals uh not to mention he's going up against uh the heat tonight who's his former team uh so so it's a revenge game and uh he actually had a, a revenge game against miami a couple weeks ago and he ended up dropping 42.2 fantasy points in that game now there really is something to the revenge game factor there's been a ton of instances where players have had uh revenge games against their former teams and they end up doing well now that being said he already did kind of get his revenge against miami um earlier in the season so i wouldn't place too much weight on that but it still is a small factor Okay, now let's get into my top stud. Okay, my top stud for tonight is Bradley Beal. He's $9,800 on FanDuel, and we project him to score 48.38 FanDuel points. And then he's $9,500 on DraftKings, where we project him to score 50.91 fantasy points. Now, it's an interesting night tonight because, you know, there's none of those really big studs. There's no Harden, there's no Giannis, LeBron, Kawhi, AD, Trey Young, Westbrook. None of those guys are, are, are playing. So Beal is the guy. Now, Carl Anthony Towns is playing, but he is questionable. Um, if he does end up playing, then, you know, he might be a, a, a good pick. Uh, as far as your stud goes tonight, but I had to go with Beal for all the reasons I mentioned earlier about um, the Wizards lack of depth tonight uh, Now Chicago actually is a decent team defensively, but it has the potential to be a very uh, close scoring game Neither of those teams are very good. It has overtime potential But I like the fact more than anything that they have Bradley Beal under ten thousand dollars on both sites So Bradley Beal is kind of my top stud by default. You know a lot of people might be on uh, Joel and B tonight but uh, I don't I don't like that matchup against Bam Adebayo. So my top stud tonight is uh, is definitely Bradley Beal. Okay, now let me get into my sleeper pick. My sleeper pick for tonight is going to be Dorian Finney-Smith. Okay, I say he's a sleeper because his productivity uh, doesn't really match his minutes. Now he's he's averaging 
35 minutes per game over the last four games. Uh, but he's more of a defensive stopper. He doesn't really put up uh, big stats, but the opportunity is there. He hasn't had a 40 plus fantasy point game this season, but he has had a couple, you know, 35 plus point games. So he's capable of doing that, especially with, you know, the, the, the big minutes that he's getting, especially with Luka out. So he's my top sleeper tonight. All right, now with all that being said, let's go ahead and let's run the, the lineup optimization tool. Uh, keep in mind that it's early right now. It's it's just before noon. So this is definitely going to change, especially with all the pending injuries out there. But let's go ahead and run it. Okay, so you got Jamal Murray, Damian Lillard, Shea Gilgits, Alexander, Bradley Beal, Troy Brown, Jalen Brown, Davis Bertans, Jason Tatum, and Ian Mahinmi. Okay, now all those Washington players... Um, you, you, you know, the Bertans, Mahimi, Troy Brown, um, you might want to kind of limit them. You might want to only pick up two or three of them, uh, especially as far as Jalen Brown, or, or, or sorry, Troy Brown, uh, Bertans, and Mahimi go. Um, maybe only pick up two out of the three of those guys in your GPPs because it's highly unlikely that all those guys end up having really big games. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's run it for DraftKings. So you got Kemba Walker, Terry Rozier, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Draymond Green, Bradley Beal, Josh Richardson, Davis Bertans, and Dwight Powell. Now I did forget to mention uh, Eric Paschal for the for the Warriors is also questionable. Um, so if he does end up missing the game, that will give even more value to Draymond Green uh, and, and some other Warriors players. Not it wouldn't nearly be as big of an injury update as the you know Drummond and and. Blake Griffin and um, Carl Anthony Towns news, but it's still something that you want to keep an eye on. But anyways, uh, good luck to everyone tonight, and let me know if you have any questions. Peace.